Right, hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match preview. We're back at home, this time at Swansea City with Sunderland in the Sky Bet Championship this Saturday, 3pm kickoff at the Swansea.com Stadium. Um, it's going to be a very tough game against Sunderland. Uh, we did win um, last weekend against Blackburn away. Uh, obviously we're back at home, so you know a chance to try and um, get, uh, get some three points at home. Uh, I know we haven't had too many then this season. I think we've had more wins away than we have at home. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we can get some points at home. It would be nice to uh, do that in front of our fans and hopefully, you know, try and um, carry last week's uh, win into this week and hopefully go on a bit of a run. But, you know, it's going to be no pushover against Sunderland. I know we did beat them twice last season, but they're both very tough, you know, and hard fought games. Um, but hopefully we can do the same again and uh, get the three points. But, um, yeah, what's your thoughts going into this game? Uh, I think it'll be a tough game. Um, Sunderland, you know, they always bring good numbers. They always, you know, they've got a great fan base. I, I think they'll definitely bring a lot of fans to this game, no doubt about it. Um, and then I know they'll be right behind their team. Uh, I know they haven't exactly been brilliant as they were last season, but, you know, they are still a good squad. Um, they still got some great players in there of experience. So uh, it's not going to be an easy game, but, you know, we did play very well um, against Blackburn away, obviously, in our last game. Probably could have got more than just one goal, to be honest. Probably should have scored about two or three, but, you know, we got that win in the end. And now it's obviously, you know, a chance, well, an opportunity for us to try and get back to proper winning ways. Try and, you know, try try and go a bit more consistent, try and get a few more wins in a row. You know, you know, like we did, a, you know, a good few weeks ago when we, when we were, was it five games and beat on four wins in a row? You know, we need to try and get back to that, really. Um, you know, we do have tough games coming up after this as well. So, you know, we do have a very, very tricky run in. But, yeah, it's going to be a tricky game. Uh, you know, Sunderland, I think they are actually better away from home than they are at home, so they're very similar to us. So it's going to be a tricky game. Yeah, and then um, now going on to the injury news then. So for the Swans, uh, Luke will give you the Swans injury news to start oh, with. Oh, yeah, injury news for us. We've got Josh Janelli, Nathan Wood, Azim Abdullahi, and uh, Joe Allen. Yeah, and then as for Sunderland, they've got Pembele out with a knee injury. They've got Matete, who's also out with a knee injury. And they've got Alise, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, with an unknown injury. Uh, they got Evans out with an ACL injury. Um, but yeah, now going on to the key players then. So if there's any Sunderland fans watching this, I think these are the danger men for us that you need to look out for. Number one, I'm going to go with our captain, Matt Grimes. He's been terrific this season and one of our best players. Secondly, I'm going to go with Jamie Patterson, who's you know, has really turned his fortunes around this season and, and he's been putting in some very good performances. And thirdly, I'm going to go with who I think has been our best defender this season, Harry Darling. But would you add anyone else? Uh, yeah, I have one more player. I always say his name, but I think Carl Rushworth definitely deserves a shout. Um, I think he's definitely been one of our signings of the season so far, no doubt about it. He's made so many, you know, good saves. Uh, you know, made some good saves against Blackburn to keep us in the game and, you know, get us over that line in the end. And overall, the season he's been terrific. He made some good saves. You know, he's had a few clean sheets here and there. So I think I'd have to add him into that list. I think he's been solid. Yeah, and then um, now going on to Sunderland key players in. So to start with, I'm going to go with Joe Bellingham. Um, obviously 18 years old. If he can be, you know, even half as good as what his brother is, um, then, you know, they've got some player on their hands. And even at this very young age, he's showing what he's all about. Secondly, I'm going to go with Bradley Dack, who, you know, is very proven at this level, Blackburn. And, um, you know, um, so he's definitely a championship quality um, player. And then thirdly, I'm going to go with Jack Clark. Um, obviously, Spurs leads. So, you know, he's got... Again, he's got um, experience above this level, but would you add anyone else? Uh, yeah, I'll add three players to that list. Um, first one is Alex Pritchard. Um, you know, he's been around the block, but he's had many, many championship appearances. He's played for Huddersfield as well in the championship. So, you know, he's got that experience. I think he might have played in the prime match at Huddersfield. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure he might have. Um, so I think he's a very good player, especially at this level anyway. So yeah, I'll go for him. I'll also go for Patrick Roberts. Pretty sure he's played for Man City, played for Celtic. So, you know, he has, you know, same as, you know, some of the other players you've said, you know, he's had experience above this level. Um, and I think him and Jack Clark, you know, on either wing, you can't really go wrong, really. So, yeah, I'll put Patrick Roberts in there as well. And then I'll go for the young defender, Daniel Ballard. I'm uh, pretty sure, um, well, I think he was at Millwall last season, I believe. Um, also a, an, an Arsenal Academy graduate. So, um, you know, he's a very decent defender, got quite a bit of championship experience now for, you know, a young lad. So, I'll add those three to that list. Yeah, and then now going on to the team lineup. Then so in goals, I'm going to go with Carl Rushworth. Right back, I'm going to go with Harrison Ashby. Left back, I'm going to go with Josh Tymon. Only because we don't know about Josh Key. 
Um, two centre halves are going to go with Harry Darling and Bashir Humphreys. In midfield, I'm going to go with Matt Grimes, Charlie Patino, and Jamie Patterson. And three up front, I'm going to go with Liam Cullen, Jerry Yates, and Jamal Lowe. But uh, yeah, what about you? Um, I think I'd actually agree with that lineup. Maybe putting um, Kabango instead of um, Harry Darling for me, but because obviously we know uh, Ben Kabango's back now. I don't know if he's proper fully fit, but he did come on um, against Blackburn. Um, so I'd potentially bring him in to replace Harry Darling just to you know, change the squad up a little bit. But then again, I don't think you should really change up the squad from, um, you know, the squad that obviously beat Blackburn on last weekend. So I think I'll agree with the, the, the lineup you did. Yeah, and then finally the score prediction then. It's going to be tough, but I think we're going to nick it 1-0. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go Swansea 1, Sunderland 0. And I'm going to go with Jerry Yates to get the goal. But what about you? Uh, I think I'll go for the same as last season. Actually, no, no. Actually, I'm going to go for one all draw. Just because um, Sunderland, Sunderland are a great uh, team away from home, um, so I believe I feel, I feel, yeah, I feel like Jerry Yates will score for us, and I think Patrick Roberts will score for Sunderland. Yeah, once again, obviously a massive thanks for watching this. We'll be back tomorrow for a match day vlog, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Yeah, cheers.